Hey everybody, it's Tuesday again. Can you believe it? Time moves so fast. Uh, we have another Comp Tip Tuesday. We, I'm using the Royal We. Uh, I have another Comp Tip Tuesday for you. Let me have a sip of coffee. It's a very gimmicky one, this one. Uh, it's a very short and sweet one. And I've been using this pretty much since day one. When uh, the first company I worked at, we did a lot of patching. And uh, sometimes we had a very specific type of patching where it was just kind of like a brief moment that needed to be patched. Like a like an actor looking into the camera or blinking uh, and we wanted to get rid of that. Uh, one, <laughs> one example was um, the, the movie, what's it called? Another Round or Druk in Danish with uh, Mats Mikkelsen. Actually won the Oscar for best foreign movie. And um, we had to get rid of, he was looking into the camera all the time. So we had to get rid of those moments where he did. And one technique I used a lot for that was uh, stretching the part. Let me show you, it's, it's easier to show you. So here we can see the guys blinking from roughly from 205 to 215. And what we would do, and this is not a proper way to do this, by the way, usually you would kind of frame hold, maybe grid warp it back on, and it's the whole thing. But I found out that if you just time clip it to 205, and then go from 215 to 214, then you append it so 215 becomes 206. So then you go 205, 206, and you stretch it back out with Kronos from 205 to 215. And so, what you then get is this. So his eyes kind of morph from 205 to 215. So all you do really in the Kronos node is right here, you set 205 to 205. And then on frame 215, you put in 206. So you stretch it back out and then make Kronos solve sort of guess where the pixel is going to go. Then in the, cur in the curve editor, usually you get something like this. You want to make that linear with L. And what you really want to do is just kind of stabilize on this forehead just to, yeah, make it easier for Kronos to solve and then match move it back and then maybe mask out his eyes with the emix. So then what you're going to get is this. So you don't have to track, you don't have to frame alt, you don't have to uh, grid warp, you don't have to spline warp. Easy, done deal. You just kind of you kind of smoosh it together, you stretch it back out, and that's it. You got, you, you obviously want to get rid of the grain usually. You're going to denoise and then uh, regrain back on the bottom here. And that's it. That's that's probably an hours of work done in 10 minutes, five minutes. And your bosses will think, oh my God, he's so fast, you know? So <laughs> that's it. It's super gimmicky. It doesn't work all of the time, but in situations where it's just kind of like a short window of time and the camera isn't moving around too much and the subject isn't moving to, moving around too much. Sometimes there's like a boom, like a boom microphone in front of the actor or somewhere you want to get rid of on the screen. This is the kind of technique that can really, really shorten your, uh, yeah, shorten your work time. So that's basically it. Hope that helps. Happy Tuesday.